and welcome and thank you for joining me. We're going to look into relationship between objects. And this can be between custom objects, standard objects, or standard and custom objects. In the last few videos, we have looked into standard object and custom object. And we're able to relate those back to an Excel sheet. And we kind of now understand what the standard object and custom object mean. At the end of the day, those are different tables that store our data. We created an expense report object, which was basically tracking just the name and status of the expense report. Expense report is more like a header level information, but we're not entering all the specific details about your trip and about the expenses that you made in that trip. The business actually wants to capture that in a different table. Uh, because they just want to have an expense report so they can track the status, but all the other details, they want to have it in a different object. I just tried to put that in an Excel sheet here. So we have expense report where we have name and status, and now we're going to build an expense object, which will have some fields. So let's say the expense is type. So I want to capture what type of expense it is, right? Whether it is meal, transportation, and that sort of thing. Then maybe we obviously want to capture the amount, right? Um, a description, any other fields that the business might request. We want to have the type as a pick list just to make sure that the users can pick from those set of values that we have defined. And again, if you're working, your business will provide you these values. Amount is a currency field that I want because I want to capture the dollar amount there. And then description, I want it a long text so users can enter their description about that expense. So I want you to build this in your org. Now I'm going to go to my org and actually build the object called expense. So I'm going to create custom object. It should look familiar to you. Expense, call it expenses, and I'm just going to leave it um, auto number this time because I want to just system to generate something. So I'm going to say exp dash and 0000. What this means is your first expense will be exp-000 and I can say what starting number. I'm going to say 1. So that means the first value that will be created will be exp-0001. And I'm going to say allow reports because I want to be able to run reports on this. I'm going to leave this empty because I don't want to create a tab for this and hit save. That is my expense object. Now let's go back here. All right. So now we have two objects. We have expense report and we have expense. In Salesforce, in majorly, there are two types of relationships. You have one to many and you have many to many. So you can have one parent with many children, or you can have many to many relationships sometimes. So we'll look into those individually. So in this case, right, you can have one expense report. So like if you're going to a trip to San Francisco, that is your one expense report, but as for that trip, you can have multiple expenses. You can have hotel cost, you can have food, um, transportation. All these are different types of expenses for that same trip. So you have one to many relationship. One is always the parent, many is the children here. Okay. Lookup and master detail both are one to many relationship. Okay. But in lookup relation, the child can exist on its own. So if I wanted to create expense, I could create expenses on my own without having to create an expense report. But in master detail, it is very different. In master detail, master is the parent side and detail is the children side. And if you don't have a master, you cannot have a children. So it's very tightly coupled. So let's say if the relationship between expense report and expense was master detail, then I could not create an expense without having an expense report. Now, how do we even create these things? So let's go back to our object. And always, always you start from your child. So whenever you're trying to create a relationship between two objects, you start from the children's side or you start from the many side. Now I'm here in the expense. That is my children. I'm going to go to field and relationships. I'm going to hit new. And here you can see we have lookup relationship and master detail relationship. In this case, let's just assume that my business is telling me like, I don't want expenses created on their own. They should always tie up to the expense report. And basically this expense is just a part of the expense report. Okay. The expense cannot exist by itself. That is when you can use master detail relationship. It is much more than that, but this is at a very high level. This is how you can understand. 
at a master detail it's a very tight coupling lookup is more relaxed so i'm gonna do master detail hit next now what am i relating it to so now next screen is related to here i want to relate it to this is where you're going to say the parent and i know my parent is expense report because i already created that object and hit next you can just keep it the same name if you want you can also change it best practices keep it the same so users are not confused and we will see what this means but keep it expenses and keep everything as is hit next next and next again and save okay we save the expenses now what does that mean let me go back to our front end facing okay. so now i'm going to go to my expense reports because i created a tab for that and i added boston trip so i already have that so this is my parent now i want to create an expense to this trip let's make the status to not approved first and go to related and how did it come here in the related because when i was creating that expenses master detail i added it to the page that when you hit next screen you will see that there but we'll have a separate dedicated video just about this layout so don't worry about this for now right now i want to just enter expenses so i'm going to hit new and right now i don't have any fields but i encourage you to add these fields that we discussed add type amount description field to that expense object so you can actually have more fields here to play with hit save click another one maybe i want to now submit my meals and as you can see right you cannot really create so if i just cancel that out i won't be able to save this so the expense needs an expense report you cannot proceed without that it's a required field that's it's super important for master detail in master detail the lookup is always required so you need to have the parent in order to create the children records and see the naming convention since we said exp000 was our format this is how it's going to get created and it's always going to keep increasing by one and if you added more fields you could just add the currency the amount that you spend the type of the trip that you made or the expense and then keep saving it so now we are creating we have three expenses related to boston trip what if i went on an, another trip right if i wanted another trip or maybe i want to submit some admin expenses so i will just create a new expense report call it admin expense not approved maybe give it a date save so now that's a different expense report and then i can add expenses to it i will add those fields myself you don't have to see me adding that but i highly encourage you to do that on your own time so that is master detail going back here we looked at master detail lookup relationship is also very similar but it will not be required in that format um, you can make it required if you need it to but by out of the box lookup is not required so you can have expenses on your own i want to have expense report tied to an account because i want to bill to that account when i go for this trip i want to bill to those particular accounts so in this case account is its own object and i'm just going to add that here now we have account expense report and expense so for expense report and expense we know that this is the parent and this is the child because all the expenses are tied to an expense report now here in this case account and expense report account is the parent because there could be multiple expense reports for one account so in this case this is the parent and this is the child for this particular example so expense report is both a parent and a child for two different relationships so don't get confused it depends on the context right so between this and this this is the parent between this and this this is the parent like relationships in real life right you can be a mother but you can also be a daughter so think of the same scenario here now i'm just going to make this arrow just to make it look like one to many an arrow is pointing towards that 
in this case also arrow is pointing towards that you can change the relation but don't get too hung up in the symbols right now okay so now i'm going to actually do that in salesforce how does that happen in salesforce now one thing we know that we always start from the child record so in this case expense report is the child so i'm going to go to salesforce go to my setup menu go to object manager and i'm going to search for that expense report object go to fields click new and this time we're going to do a lookup relationship because i already said lookup is more um, independent on its own as well hit next this time related to any guesses it's going to be the account because that's our parent next keep it the same that's my child relationship name expense reports and if you observe carefully i'm saying make it visible for all the profiles so everybody can see it and then i'm adding it to the expense report layout Hit next and here i am adding it to all the account layouts now expense reports will now appear in all the account pages as we will see i'm going to go to my page here go to in accounts it's going to refresh click on the account and we should see expense reports added here all right there it is so now same concept concept remains the same the only thing is we will have an account lookup now so i can say styles expenses either date or not it's not required status is not approved and account is the lookup here so hit save now that is going to appear under this account page because it is linked to that account i can also just create an expense and not link it to i'm just going to say test and unlink this because i didn't make it required it's a lookup relationship so i can literally skip that and hit save then what's going to happen is it's not going to show up on that account because i didn't link them but if i go to the expense reports tab then I can see that test. It is just not linked to an account. Okay. So we learned one to many relationship and we learned about lookup and master detail. We also created lookup and master detail. I highly encourage you to play around with this. This is like one of those topics that was really confusing when I was starting out. So I want to spend much time on this topic. And many to many relationship is the next topic that we're going to discuss. So, but before we get into that, I highly encourage you to get really clear with master detail and lookup relationship, and then we'll come back in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.